Hello guys again, welcome back to Fix It Channel. Please subscribe and hit the like button if uh, you find these uh, projects interesting. And be sure to ring that bell if you don't want to miss uh, any one of my videos. So here, right here we have a 2015 Ford Taurus. Uh, it's got 58,000 miles. I picked this up from an uh, auction. And just to show you the damages, so basically it was hit on the front. This is, this is going to be one of my rebuild projects, this car. And uh, maybe we'll just, once we fix it up, we're just going to go ahead and sell it. And basically it was hit on the front right here, suspension damage. And it was hit on the front driver's side, both the driver's side and both the passenger side. And right here. But I went ahead and replaced the two, both the left and right suspension parts. I actually wasn't able to make a video of it because I don't like to make uh, videos on halfway projects like the suspension part. I couldn't uh, do, for example, I couldn't do a control arm, completely remove and replace the control arm. So I'll be sure to, I got a couple of comments, uh, people asking me to show them anyways. So I'll be sure to... Uh, shoot them next time and upload those videos as well so on the front driver's side got this old suspension part and uh, basically I'm having to replace all the suspension parts on both front ends um, the steering this is the steering knuckle I purchased the complete uh, front knee assembly it was I think it was hundred sixty dollars or so these are used with lower miles. One had 25,000 miles, one had about 44,000 miles. I can't remember which one. The receipt shows those. So I replaced the spindle, the steering knuckle, the wheel bearing with the complete knee assembly. And right here, you can see the lower control arm where it was broken, snapped off on the front driver's side. And this is the strut, so the upper control arm. As you can see, you can probably tell the curve on it it's bent right about here so I went ahead and replaced that the sway bar links were disconnected broken bent and broken at the ball joints so I replaced those as well at present I still have the old control uh, I mean I'm sorry the tie rod ends on these both sides left and right so we're gonna go ahead and replace the tie rods once they arrive I purchased them on 1A Auto they were uh, $33 for a pair so that was the best deal so once they arrive we're going to replace those as well and the only thing original on this car hopefully remains is the brake calipers with brake pads they're still about 80 percent 70 80 percent plus hopefully the rotors are still good it's got a little bit of shaking on the highway at 60 70 miles an hour that has to do with tie rod ends being loose the ball joints aren't good so same thing on the front passenger side this is the old uh, knee assembly right here the ball joint was it, it snapped off broke off the lower control arm so I replaced the control arm basically I purchased the whole knee assembly and replaced those steering uh, the steering knuckle and the spindle with the, uh, the wheel bearing those are replaced and these were replaced with lower miles. So one side has about 25k miles, the other has 44k miles. I went ahead and replaced the upper strut even though it looked decent. At first it looks fine, but sometimes, ha about half the time when we start driving them, uh, you can see the problems with the struts. They're just not as good or they're shot inside. These are uh, gas shock struts, shocks. So I also replaced the sway bar links on them. The inner tie rods seem okay so far. I'm gonna have to replace the outer tie rods. And I also, on this side, I replaced this wheel. Basically, I purchased this used, about $150. The tire had a couple of sidewall cuts. I replaced the tire as well. And uh, it is a used tire. So it's a run, the car is a run and drive at present. I already posted a couple of videos on check engine light and transmission issues and the fuse problems on, on this channel. So you can uh, check them out if you're interested. So let's just have a look at this car. The airbags did deploy. We're gonna go ahead and get inside. 
and get it started as well. The steering wheel airbag deployed and the driver's side roof airbag got deployed as you can see. That's deployed. Also the driver's seat left side, the seat airbag deployed. So I already purchased the parts. We're gonna go ahead and replace those. Driver's seat belt is jammed as you can see right here. But uh, I purchased the seat belt as well. The that's the only seat belt that was basically jammed. I guess uh, just the driver was probably driving during an accident. So at present, I took care of the check engine light, traction control lights. It had about over a dozen check engine uh, codes. So the airbag light is still on. Of course, the seat belt. We cannot use the seat belt. And now it's low on fuel. So the engine runs good, it sounds good. I did an oil change, also posted a video on the channel. And it's got a V6 engine, 3.5, 288 horsepower. It's got touch screen, fully loaded leather seats. This is a limited trim, so it's fully loaded. The, the interior is all black, and they actually it actually came with a, a little car seat. For, for a baby, for kids, and I have it taken out, removed. The rear seats are leather seats as well. So I'm gonna shut this off. So as far as repairs inside the car, we're gonna have to replace the uh, wheel airbag, steering wheel airbag, the curtain airbag, the seat, driver's seat airbag, and the driver's seat belt. So those are four parts that need to be replaced on the inside of the vehicle, and when I was looking for the seat airbag, the seat airbag was about $100, but the seat was $160. So this guy sold me the entire seat and wrote the ticket for about $120 or so. So now we have the leather seat. It's a little bit dusty. We got snowed about three days ago. So I'm gonna go ahead and clean this up and see if the connections if they, if they write everything checks out if it clicks I'm gonna go ahead and just replace the entire seat rather than removing the side seat airbag and take destroying the seat and having to replace just the uh, seat airbag because the, the original stitches they're kind of hard to replicate I've done some quilts but this is a little hard to do that's uh, machine sewn so I'm going to go ahead and show you the, this fender that I'm going to replace. I went ahead and picked up a fender for about $225 and that driver's side fender is right over here. It's a little bit dusty. This one also came with that plastic fender bracket. So we, next we're going to go ahead and uh, replace that fender as well. And as you can see, the driver headlight is smashed. It took a hit. So this headlight needs to be replaced and uh, I purchased a brand new headlight right here online on eBay they are going any, anywhere from $300 to $500 this one I got a little deal on on eBay I think it was available for about $175 $179 or so I have to look my look at my receipt again so about $175 or so brand new headlight now as far as that fender this got metallic tuxedo black color and this is the same color on the fender so I was lucky it was fortunate to find it so we don't have to do a paint job on the fender so here we have a brand new steam wheel airbag I picked this up from a Ford dealership got a little bit of dusty I looked at it a couple of times already came in a in a box packaged like this so this one was around uh, 350 my cost was about 310 or so uh, the thing is, if you go on eBay, you can get a used one for about $280, $290. These go around $300 or so uh, on the lower side. So we got that one ready. And I also picked up this uh, seat belt, driver's seat belt. If, if you're curious about these, the driver's seat belt also has a pretensioner or tensioner. So this one came used with the pretensioner just I, as I asked for it. And this was 165. My guy made a deal for me for 120. He said no at first, but after a week of checking, going back and forth, he gave it to me for 120. 
so there we have that and uh, I do also have the curtain roof airbag somewhere yeah right here this is the curtain airbag so um, I'll be sure to uh, shoot them as I do the work and be sure to upload them on the channel so this is it guys at present um, I don't know if I showed you the mileage on the car so let's just look at the mileage real quick I could uh, literally drive this car on the highway for one to two hours kind of travel with it it's uh, it's good to drive just seat belts don't work airbags don't work so it's got 58,735 miles so we'll see how things go guys and uh, thanks for watching Please subscribe, consider subscribing if you haven't done so, and we'll see you in the next video. Take care now.